Katie. Nice to meet you. And nice to meet you too. How did, did, how did you find us? Then Easy look. <laughs> you look just like you look on your well, posters. The truth is, uh, there are three, <laughs> uh, three guys. You know? <laughs> this is eight hours Photoshop, <laughs> and this is the real thing. You know? So sometimes it's hard to to be confronted with the no, real it, thing. No, not at all. So my, my wife likes him. My son likes him. And and this you know? is the reality. And this is the reality, hey, it's which tough. is really boring and, and <laughs> shocking sometimes. But that's the way it is. Um, now tell me about uh, the percentage that you anticipate that you will get here. How much, what's the percentage that you expect to receive of the vote for the AFD? Okay, uh, all together in the country, in Bavaria, we hope 15%. 15, yes. But in Munich, it will be 10. 10. If we are lucky, 11. Because um, so it's quite like that, you're voting, isn't it? There's this sort of, sort of sense of, is it Dusseldorf, Dus Dugendorf? Where the AFD vote is very high, about 15, oh, well, 18 percent. We areas, uh, probably 25 20, percent. 25 percent. Yeah, in Niederbayern, There's a real range. In, in Passau, yeah. Well, the people on the countryside are much more open-minded mm. uh, against a new party, and they say, "Well, we give you a chance. Why not? Mm. I mean, you're a conservative, you know, liberal, conservative, patriotic. Mm. Why don't, shouldn't we give you a chance after mm. six years of CSU in this country? Yes. Uh, in the city, it's like, oh." No, if you are not green or left. So it's the same in every metropolitan every area, well, in every country, isn't it? Well, America the same, yeah, the UK the same. The, the urban people think different. And on, on the sort of uh, topic of urban people thinking differently and lefties being kind of odd, um, this lady here is holding a sign saying against you guys. I believe her sign says racists or something. On the other side it says we are assholes. You're assholes. So uh, the lady standing a sign saying that you're assholes. Yes. What's your view of the lady? Uh, well, she is a very friendly person. She, she is always with me. I don't know why. Probably she has a helicopter mm. or, or maybe... I, she I loves don't know. you? She, <laughs> no, she's your stalker? I don't know. She's not stalking. But she's well. always there where I am. Does she come to your house and hold a sign no, saying he's no, an asshole? No, I, I don't, nobody knows where I live. I, I changed <laughs> no, my No, I'm not addresses. surprised. I, I changed my identity. I understand everything. that. But she does this. She seems a little distressed, though. She um, seems a little... Well, I think, well, this is, you know, by, by law, she has a right to, to, to protest. express her opinion. Yeah. She's not aggressive. She's not attacking No, no, us. and people have come up to uh, her. I've watched them two, saying nice two things. Two weeks ago, a bunch of people came. They were coming, approaching us, and suddenly they were slamming our stands and everything, destroying Craziness. everything. Uh, instead of discussing it with us, mm. and and this is what makes the difference. I mean, I'm an old man now, 63. You won. When, when when I was young, we were always discussing with all communists and all yeah, kinds of people. Open to we chat. were discussing. Yeah. We drank cheap red wine, and we were discussing. Mm. And at the end, it is three o'clock in the morning. We were all, all a little bit drunk and happy because yeah. we had talked about politics. In these days, it's you have AFD. I don't even talk to, talk to you. I, I don't even want to know what you no. what you think about. So, in this. some ways, you have some respect for her because she's just peacefully protesting, and that's fine. I mean, we live in a democracy, and this is her right. Mm. And of course, I mean, we don't do this. I don't go to my uh, to my competitors and do that and, and, and do things and like hold this. up a sign saying that and you're an asshole. We we go to meetings, gatherings yeah. of uh, of the uh, opponents and have a listen and, and, and listen, and then we try to do a mm. discussion in between when they have a break or so. We talk mm. to the have people. Have a chat. And this is funny because I realize that especially the members of CSU. They have exactly the mm. same opinions like us, mm. the same opinions like us, and they even express themselves harder than our yes. members do because, okay, they can do it because yes. they're CSU. The CSU. It's us. I mean, just an example, it's hilarious, but if I see a friend coming to me, yes. I used to, to wave with my right hand. I don't do that anymore. I try to do it with my left hand because it might happen while I raise my hand, that someone I takes have a special angle and that someone takes a shot and the next day a, a newspaper will show you doing some kind of salute Hitler, you never did. Hitler greetings. And tell me about, oh, now we've got five. One, two, oh, three, four, five, six. So now, do you mind walking with me a little or you don't want to go near them? Oh, no, no, but they but, don't want to be on camera. They okay, fine. They well, they may end up on camera. camera, but you've now got six police. What? What's the point? Oh, that's, that's nothing. Um, on my last, uh, on my last stand, I had 150 policemen guarding me. On a stand like this? No, it was on a, a stage, stand? and I, I hold a speech for an hour. And what are they doing? Are they guarding you, or are they policing you? <laughs> well, they protect me because <clears throat> at that time the, the protesters came from Antifa, and they really tried to hurt me, more or less. I mean, 
and they were just making so much noise I couldn't hear my un no. uh, understand myself. I hold this speech. It was 57 minutes. It's of course online. Yes. Uh, I have my own channel, which U is Uli Henkel. Uli Henkel YouTube, channel. YouTube. Good. Uli we Henkel. People can look you up hundreds, on Uli Henkel. Hundreds of movies. Uli, Uli Henkel. Because we H E N K E L. H E N K E L. They can look you up and tell me, um, do you worry for your safety? Genuine. Yes. I mean, uh, joking aside. Um, yes, I do. Uh, all my data are hacked and stuff like this three years ago, so I changed everything. I changed really my identity more or less. Nobody knows where I live now. Um, I hope it will be over in two days. Um, I mean, this country is crazy right now. You can do whatever you want. I mean, you can stab a German guy, kill him, and nobody is reporting about it. And if then protesters say we don't like Germans to be stabbed, stabbed so in then we are Chemnitz. racist. And, uh, yeah, Chemnitz. Well, I, I didn't go to Chemnitz. Uh, at that time, I was in Dresden, and I decided not to go to Chemnitz. I decided to go to the uh, Parliament of Saxonia, and I was uh, there was a, a, a quiet uh, guard and, and saying like uh, we regret that he had to die. I mean, he's a young father of a one-year-old boy, and no one is referring to his death no one is no. so it's just about the ones who were protesting against this killing yes so we think um, you can't really you can't really do things like this you have to be open and and that's what we what we think the press the force power how mm. we call them the press should be more objective about things yes and the the truth sometimes i think if they would be more objective Maybe there would be no need for AFD. I mean, it no. sounds... It sounds no, it doesn't sound mad. And it's the reason we're here. It's the reason rebel media are here. Is because your press won't report the truth. The mainstream media won't report the truth. No. And so I think other alternative media outlets need to help yeah. people hear that actually German people are, a lot of them supporting AFD because they're tired of German people being killed by migrants. Yeah. I mean, that's just the Well, the numbers line. right now might be only 15%, but I, in reality, I think the... the the silent majority is not the majority right mm. now, but I think we have 25 to 30 percent already. Uh, they are still afraid uh, of uh, confessing, but uh, I still hope in the anonymity of the of the poll mm. station they might. The, the, the atmosphere is Tense. heated up, yeah. and then it's like nobody is really willing to discuss anymore. It's just like about if you are not with me, you are against me, yes. or so. And I, my, my offer to all our opponents in the parliaments is please accept my hand, I mm. give you my hand, and please talk to me. Just give me an idea, what can we do, what mm. can we try to, to do together, and I'm, I'm really not interested in any scandal no, or no, whatever. No, 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 or drama, but, but or drama. Or drama. No. But, but if you have this, this, you know, it's to balance, it has to be balanced. And we have only parties to the left side. And there is now a vacuum on the right side mm. of CSU. And so we fill true. that up. I think we need one or two terms. And then yeah. we will be accepted also by our opponents because mm. they can calculate with us. My, my, I said, okay, we support everything in the parliament. We support everything in the parliament. Mm whatever the other parties do, if it only fulfills one criteria, mm. it must be in the interest of Germany and the German, German people. population. I knew you were going to say that's, that. That's and this is music to you know my ears. I'm that's a, racist. That's racist. Yeah, but this is the thing. People want something in support of their country and their country's people. You know, same in America, same for yeah. me as a Brexiteer. Yeah. And so you speak a lot of truth. Listen, I'll let you go. I really admire your bravery, genuinely. I love that you're open to the other side. It was a pleasure. Yeah. And to your spectators, to, yes, to the, I say bye-bye. To, to America. And, uh, good luck to your country. Mm. I hope you will make it fine. You will come out fine uh, through this process of um, separating from the EU. Um, <laughs> I keep the fingers crossed for you, for sure. You need to. And if you do the same for me, then everything <laughs> will be fine, okay? Take care and bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Good luck. Much. Good luck. I am here to bring you the news that the mainstream media won't. To join me in my reports, go to rebelbavaria.com. And if you can help chip in with any of our costs just to cover our basics expenses, I'd really appreciate it. Go to rebelbavaria.com.